cold open. The great Arthur Ashe once said, Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. A gentle reminder that the starting line is not as important as the finish. Picture this, a young boy named John, who, despite his skinny frame and glasses, dreamt of becoming a professional weightlifter. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? John lifting weights heavier than his own body, his glasses sliding down his sweaty face. His friends laughed, his parents fretted, but John, oh John, he just lifted. Then there's the tale of Maria, a middle-aged woman with an uncanny love for sprinting. She didn't discover her passion for it until her 40s. Imagine her, lacing up her neon pink running shoes, her heart pounding in anticipation as she prepares to race against time itself. Some people were skeptical, even dismissive, but Maria just ran, like the wind, like time was just a concept she was about to defy. These are not stories of extraordinary people. These are stories of ordinary people with extraordinary willpower. People who push boundaries, who redefine what's possible, who make us rethink our own limitations. Consider the story of a baseball team that couldn't win a game. Their morale was low, their spirits were crushed. But their coach, a man who believed in the power of humor, had a plan. He announced that for every run scored, he would do a chicken dance. Now, the sight of a grown man flapping his arms and bobbing his head in a ridiculous dance is quite a sight to behold. The team started scoring, not because they were suddenly better, but because they wanted to see their coach dance. They started winning, not because they had superior skills, but because they had found a reason to laugh, a reason to enjoy the game. Remember the time when the underdog team won the championship against all odds? How they celebrated as if they had conquered the world? That's the beauty of sports. It's not just about winning or losing. It's about the struggle, the journey, the joy of playing. It's about exploring your own potential, pushing your limits and discovering your true capabilities. Just as a marathon runner doesn't stop when they're tired, they stop when they're done. We too must remember that our potential is not determined by our circumstances, but by our determination. Our strength does not lie in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. So the next time you find yourself doubting your abilities, remember John, remember Maria, remember the baseball team who found joy in a chicken dance. Remember that you too have the power to redefine what's possible. And now, a question to ponder upon. What if you're stronger than you think? What if your potential is not a set limit, but a challenge to exceed? What if the only thing standing between you and your dreams is your belief in yourself?